Hi, Scorpios. Welcome back to I Enigma Scorpio channel. This is Enigma. So I'm going to be doing your general reading. Let's see the messages for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, Sign, or Mercury, Sun, Scorpio, Plus, Cross, Watchers. If you want to go for a more private personal read, white prayer based spells, premium charge crystals, reach out on WhatsApp, Instagram, or email. Let's see the messages for you, Scorpio. Leave the past behind. I feel like Scorpio over here is very clear with the Tower card that it's time for leave the past behind because there's a breakthrough that is going to happen there's a big change coming into your life your whole life is going to change you no longer are going to be in the same place doing the same thing being in monotony being with the wrong person being in toxic situations you're going to live your it life whatever you always wanted to do you'll be doing and i'm seeing there's a sudden growth there's a breakthrough in your career happening some of you are joining in a new career some of you are joining a new course some of you are like i'm seeing something with design okay in development or um you're just like focusing more on expanding your work expanding your career and you will be very successful in it you will get the recognition you will get the popularity in your place of work there's nothing that can touch you affect you stop you from making a big breakthrough in your life so sudden shifts and i'm seeing you're feeling more attractive you're feeling more driven you feel like you have new people surrounding you are also going to work in a team you have a healthy team you are socializing more you're loving yourself more you're feeling more attractive is what i see here i'm also seeing you also like to go according to your own you know um you're in your own rhythm you don't like someone telling you this is what you're supposed to do so i'm seeing you're going to uh follow your own beats for your own music you're going to create your own world okay and uh, you're going to be winning in it you will be very successful in it with the ace of wands is something new catching up i'm seeing a new beginning i'm seeing a passionate new beginning coming into your life let's see what else is it wow you're going to have a renewal like rising from the ashes feeling much upgraded and better than before becoming a better version of yourself what you were in the past so the death is like you're going through a major transformation okay releasing the past obstacles the fears the thoughts the blockages and becoming a completely new person as if you're going to have another birth a rebirth is what i see so i definitely see that there is an ending for good for the most beautiful new beginning to happen in your life from the month of october and i'm also seeing you leaving the baggages behind because whatever used to bother you is no longer bothering you anymore so i'm seeing you transforming and i'm seeing you changing every cell of your body is rejuvenating and you're becoming a better person and more than that i'm seeing you are feeling more attractive from within which is going to make you look more attractive i'm seeing you taking good care of your skin your hair your health your sleep your routine okay scorpio is going to be a scorpio now okay then we have the page of cups okay be very careful when you're in your highest energies when you're in your high vibrational energy you might attract someone extremely manipulative that may have a huge crush on you but you may not need to give your energy to that person because you do not know with what intent is this person coming or what is this person's idea of love or what is this person up to so you will attract all kind of people but you will also attract someone that has negative intent or wants to absorb or take away or drain you or um suck your energy out of you so there is someone that has a crush on you but is not very open in love is going to manipulate so be very careful of giving your energy to such a person so make sure that you're making a proper judgment proper decision proper discernment to be able to see <clears throat> who is coming with a positive intent or who do you tend to keep in your life for your highest good this could be a libra coming towards you oh wow yeah this is someone that is uh, very attractive and you might end up blocking this person okay so be very careful there when you're in your highest energy you may have someone coming towards you that feels like a soulmate for you but is not actually soulmate this person is a stalemate and pseudo soulmate feels like a soulmate but is not your soulmate because over here i'm getting all the negative cards at the bottom of of the for the person and for you i'm getting all the positive cards so don't go back okay this is what i see with the eight of swords i'm seeing you will be very happily 
cutting this person off without any expectations. That is what you've mastered. That is how you've transformed. Okay, so I'm seeing someone will have strong crush on you and it's more on a physical level than something deep. Okay, so be very open to who you are giving your energy and who you're dating. You're strong enough to thrive solo. You really do not need a man or a woman or a person in your life to fulfill you or to complete you. This is what you will be realizing that you're doing solo, you're living solo, you're, you're still seeing that your life is so amazing, happening and uh, exciting and thrilling. And I'm also seeing you're so independent that you're going to figure out your hidden potential, you're going to come out with the best. Another thing that I'm seeing is move towards the emotional parts of healing, parts of emotional healing. So I feel like whatever sadness or disappointment that you might be carrying in your heart right now, I'm seeing you're going through a deep, intense healing, cleansing, decluttering, replenishing, changing your mind, rewiring yourself and getting back in control of your life. So I'm seeing that find you're coming out of that cage, cave, whatever you can call it, and feeling like you're free and you're open. You can see the sky, you can see the stars, you can see the moon and you're living life larger than life. Okay, so it's like you are becoming back, you know, you're coming back, you're becoming more ambitious. Now, let's see what else is coming in your life. Scorpio. The color blue is going to be very uh, lucky for you. Okay. Ten of Wands. There are more responsibilities, more work, opportunities coming in. Oh my gosh. Now I get it. There's someone that will try to beg for your attention. This person that is coming towards you with an intent of getting closer to you on a physical level. I feel you might give them a hard time and this person will still you know try their best to convince you to you know get into a relationship or some sort of a partnership with you because the passion the drive that they have for you is overpowering their control okay the self-control this person is going out of control when it comes to you you might even make this person fall in love with you as well. This is someone very rich is also what I see. Okay, let me see more. All right, two of swords. The strength. This person is surprised with the strength, with the confidence, with the independent mindset that you have and how strongly you have, you know, you're, you're so assertive and how strongly you keep your opinions, uh, you know, fixed. You're not going to change your opinion. This person will still have a hope that, oh, maybe the Scorpio is going to melt one day and start liking me and, and we could get together. But I feel like you're not weak. So this is what they will realize. Like they will be surprised at your strength with which you stand strong and not bowing down to anybody's need because your standards are high. You will realize your standards are higher. Okay, This could be a Leo coming towards you. Wheel of Fortune. I'm seeing you becoming way more strong. I'm seeing you becoming strong. I'm seeing you, seeing you becoming... Uh, I feel like your life is going to change. Wheel of Fortune. I'm seeing it's already changing. But you will see an evident, prominent change in October, Scorpio. And this change is not like a change where you're never looking back. Okay? It's like you've, you know, gotten rid of the past. Okay? Uh, the clutter, the drama, the toxicity and you have come in a very new place, doing a new thing, living a new life, being in a new energy, your soul will feel replenished as if you're living in a clean home within you. So that's how you will be feeling like you're changing. I'm seeing massive turn of events in your life taking place. Eight of Cups, you no longer are serving to the people that do not fill your cup completely. Okay, the ones that bread crumb you, the ones that come with an intention of coming and going your life, from your life, you're done with it. Okay, you're not going to entertain those souls. So they will be surprised that you no longer are trying to fit yourself in, in something less than what you are because you've realized your self-worth. I'm seeing you realizing your self-worth, believing in yourself. And then three of ones. Yeah, this is a period where October month, I'm strongly sensing you traveling more, uh, meeting new people, okay? Uh, regarding, it could be regarding work, it could be meeting someone new, or in general, it's just that you're socializing, you're traveling, you have a lot of work to do, 
you're taking a break from work okay you're trying to break the monotony you're doing something more something else it's just say you're on the go continuously on the go ace of swords wow i feel like your mindset is changing your mindset is changing you're becoming more um clear-headed you have more clarity of what you want to do in life and i'm seeing you're moving towards a new beginning in your life and I'm also seeing that whatever venture you're going to, okay, whatever project you're ta uh, taking, uh, working on, or whatever task you're working on, you will be standing out successful and like an achiever. You'll start believing in yourself way more. I'm seeing some sort of success is coming in with the work that you're doing, okay? And that makes you feel like you've gone a top notch or you've gone a notch higher and you feel like you are already doing very well, better than the others. So, yeah, I'm seeing some sort of a promotion or a hike is also what I see. And I'm also seeing you being very busy, traveling, your mindset being like more ambitious. You're feeling more ambitious. You're feeling more um, clear about what you want in your life. And you're very easy, easily cutting off the negativity and the people that are just coming like blockages in your life. You're not allowing anybody to re-enter is also what I see. The sun, you'll be very happy in your own energy. I'm seeing you being a very happy person right now. Okay, you're going to blossom. I'm seeing you doing some workout. You're going to shopping spree or you are simply traveling. I'm seeing in the morning time, you're just like, going on a long drive and listening to a good music it just feels like deep repl replenishment within you so i'm seeing you're very happy and rejuvenated is what i see okay extreme happiness because you know deep inside that now you're going to have something more promising coming towards you six of cups don't tell me page of pentacles someone young younger from the past okay may reach out okay showing you love Wow, this is a friend. I feel like there's a possible reunion with an old friend, like a childhood friend from the past. This person could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. They could be younger than you. You will go on a tea, coffee, date with a childhood BFF, I feel. And that will be very replenishing for you. That will be very, very, very calming for you, exciting for you. All right, ten of cups. Wow. I'm seeing you engaging in some self-love activities for sure. But with the ten of cups, I'm surprised. The justice and the five of cups. Mm -hmm. You're going to get uh, your karma. I feel like whatever you've done in the past... You may have experienced a loss. You may have experienced disappointment. And whoever has done you wrong is getting their karma. And you on the flip side are going to meet someone that you're going to settle down with. Libra energy, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. I'm seeing you settling down soon. But there is some sadness around that. Why? This could be a Cancer. Okay, what is the sadness about? The nine of wands. Yeah, there will be a fear. When you have this new relationship, a new connection coming into your life, you might be a little closed off or little worried because of your past experience. You may not be very open to receive this proposal. Or you may fear away for a while, but this turns out to be your life partner. Let me see who, who is this person coming towards you. Hey, okay. wow. Okay, this is someone that has been hurt in the past, okay? So they might not open up emotionally right off the bat. But they will have a huge crush on you. And I sense that the first glance, when they see you, they'll feel immediately attracted. There will be intense attraction and passion, but they will not show it in the first place. They could be a Pisces. Okay, they could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or a Virgo. 
Yes, this person has been hurt in the past and that is why you'll see this person being very slow in their action towards you. Maybe they are the one that is sad right now that is coming towards you. They like to bury themselves in work and not think about their past hurt. This person feels really lonely that's coming towards you. You'll have a huge crush on you, I'm seeing. And you will figure out that this person is hiding something hiding their grief, hiding their pain. But the way they treat you is special. The way they treat you is like out of the world. You'll feel really special. There will be intense attraction between the two of you. Okay? But I feel like this person will be confused initially. Yeah. Don't try to read between the lines because this person will be a difficult person initially. If you want to be with this person, go ahead. But if you don't want to be with this person, close the chapter, move move on because i'm seeing that they're going through some pain in their life okay and this person will take their time to open up i also feel like you have to push this person to speak up you know and they're not speaking up and that might confuse you yeah but this could be the potential match here ten of swords i feel like the moment you walk away from this person they're coming back towards you with some real intentions of marrying you or something please clarify on the ten of swords yeah they have been i feel this person is someone that has failed in love or they see themselves as a loser as a failure in love and you will be the motivation for this person even if you want to keep this person as a friend they will be very thankful for motivating them to you know just be a better person taurus energy yeah seeing that ten of wands this person carries a lot of pain from the past but they will be very attracted towards you and i'm not seeing you giving this person much attention you won't be that attracted to this person but they will be very attracted towards you they're trying to figure out their feelings for you they're trying to open themselves up for you so you don't have to do any work here you're just simply focused on your life and being very ambitious and fully devoted towards your dreams your goals your life purpose this is what you are going to be but this person will keep on watching you closely intently wanting to come close to you but a part of them that is hurt that feels like a failure is going to stop them so you will act like a motivating machine for this person an inspiration for this person so that they can break their strings and come towards you for a new beginning i feel that is why they will take their time, socialize and join in. You can meet this person while socializing, opening up. They, they will watch you intently while you socialize, while you meet new people. Your true self is going to come out and this person will really like you for the person that you truly are. And amethyst is very important for you to wear in the month of, from now onwards till October, you should be wearing an amethyst because that will reveal who you truly are because you'll be connected to your intuition and you, you'll do what you what is inside of you. You will be what you are from inside. You'll be very real with your actions. And that is why this person will be connected to you. I'm seeing you are going to make healthy relationships. You will, uh, you will attract people with like-minded nature. And I'm also seeing you're going through deep, intense emotional healing in this period. Very deep, intense emotional healing. Wear a rose quartz as well. A rose quartz, anything in pink or red in your clothing. And an amethyst. You can get an amethyst or a rose quartz from me, energized, pure crystals and high-grade crystals. You can get it from me if you want. All right, now let's see some other messages. Scorpio, please. Yeah, I'm seeing big money coming in, guys. So pay attention to your finances, stay focused. And the more focused you are, the better your career is, your professional life is. And there's no looking back, I'm seeing. With the Seven of Cups, you will definitely see this person being super confused initially or they will confuse the sh out of you because they are interested, but then they are also a little aloof. It's because they're trying to stop themselves from falling in love as they have a lot of baggage from the past. They need to release, they need to brush up and they also have a fear of being cheated on. Okay, who is this person that you're attracting? I'm strongly seeing a Libra energy. Okay, this is someone that you will be very comfortable talking to. And you also feel like you can dominate them. Wink. Okay, they will they will let you dominate. And what else? 
Okay, this is someone that could be younger or older. There is an age difference. Could be your soulmate. This could be a Pisces, okay? But this is someone that hides a lot of things in them. It's just that you're highly inspiring and motivating towards this person. Okay, I'm also seeing they will take a break and then come back. They'll feel a spiritual connection towards you. They do believe in religion, spirituality. They love children. Okay. They could be into teaching. They could be into anything that's related to business or academics. I see more about who this person is. They have a very youthful skin is also what I see. Tall personality, slim and they've got good build. But they like to keep quiet most of the time. They're a quiet person. And this is someone that is going through deep, intense healing. They need a lot more healing than you do. Page of Pentacles. This is also someone that is slow moving in their action towards you in your life. What the heck? Why don't you just rush and tell me what it is? Because I'm seeing this is someone that will slowly open up their heart to you and you guys will end up dating and committing. This is your soulmate because it is backed by the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. I feel initially you will have no idea that this is the person. You may go through certain roller coaster, but it won't affect you that much because this person is in love with you more than you're in love with this person. Sagittarius energy. Wow. It's going to act like a breakthrough. The tower. No more being single. I'm seeing you being a couple real soon with someone coming towards you. Very giving, caring, loving. That's the person. Someone has uh, anger issues as well. Okay, I'm seeing you getting married from single to getting married. This is what I see. So there's a sudden breakthrough happening within three months time. Just go with the flow is the message for you. Keep spreading love. Be positive. Be the epitome of love. This person will keep close watch on you. They'll try to stop themselves, but eventually they'll lose control and fall in love with you. They're going to put a ring on your finger. Wow. That's it. That's all you need to know. So that's, this is your read, Scorpio. I hope you've enjoyed this wonderful reading. Thank you for your time. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye.